Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. The ancient Greeks and Romans were interested in the stars, but then astronomy languished for centuries. It then reawakened with a vengeance in the so-called enlightenment. Turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus reawakened science by proposing the sun-centered universe. His heliocentric theory, published in 1543, blew the lid off the old idea that Earth lay in the center of everything. Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe recognized that the moon orbits Earth, observed his famous supernova in 1572, and showed that comets were not in Earth's atmosphere. Italian friar and mathematician Giordano Bruno created cosmological hypotheses of various types. He believed stars could be distant suns with planets orbiting them. Tried for heresy, in 1600 the church burned him at the stake. Often called the father of modern science, Italian mathematician and astronomer Galileo Galilei invented his own telescopes after hearing of the design. He made the first telescopic observations of the sky, revolutionizing science. Starting as Tycho's assistant, German astronomer Johannes Kepler derived his famous laws of planetary motion. This enabled the harmony of the spheres to be worked out as mathematics and gave order and understanding to the cosmos. German astronomer Johannes Hevelius organized new constellations, observed and mapped the moon, discovered comets, and more. Italian-French astronomer Giovanni Cassini was the first to note the division in Saturn's rings, discovered four Saturnian moons, and co-discovered Jupiter's great red spot. Dutch mathematician and astronomer Christian Huygens telescopically studied Saturn, discovered its moon Titan, discovered features on Mars, and imagined life on other planets. The greatest physicist of the Age of Enlightenment was the Englishman Isaac Newton. Newton laid down the laws of gravitation and gave us the reasoning on how the physical world works. His work Principia Mathematica is often cited as the most important book ever written. English astronomer John Flamsteed cataloged more than 3,000 stars, became the first astronomer royal, and worked on solar eclipses, comets, and much more. Without these ten greats, our knowledge of the universe would not be the same. From the early 16th century through the early 18th century, they painted an incredible picture of our place in the cosmos. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.